Hi, my name is Jared, and I'm the head of product for Dagster Cloud. I'm here to talk to you today about a new feature that we're launching on Dagster to provide better operational insights into the performance of your data pipelines. But first, let's start by talking about an experience that's common to almost every data team. The dreaded, let's review your increased usage email. Time to get together with the finance team to figure out what budget is more appropriate for your planned usage in the coming year. Ah, the euphoria of powerful on-demand compute in data warehouses has given way to the hangover of pay-as-you-go pricing. Whether it's an ML engineer running a $30,000 backfill, or a data analyst setting up an operational dashboard that materializes 96 times a day, it has never been easier to set up data operations today that will cost you a ton of money tomorrow. And this problem has only been compounded by the assortment of convenient point solutions that have become the foundation of the modern data stack. This convenience has come at the cost of operational visibility. Our tech stacks have become a black box where data operations go in and cloud bills come out. We've collectively fallen into the modern data money pit. If this sounds familiar, you're not alone. We spent the last couple of months talking with our users to explore cost management best practices, and we learned that nearly 70% of data practitioners felt that their cost management strategies were ineffective. But for the customers that have built operational visibility into their pipelines, here's what the cost management system typically looks like. It starts with an enforced metadata attribution strategy. You start by defining a system for enforcing the inclusion of metadata about your data processes to activity in the data warehouse. This information typically includes things like the name of the pipeline, its associated assets, the teams that own it, etc. Then, once you've implemented an attribution strategy, the next step is to collect and normalize this data for analysis. A comma strategy would be to pipe it back into the data warehouse. Finally, there needs to be some ritual for sharing this operational data and the analysis back with the data engineers for feedback, hopefully to find opportunities for optimization. Teams that are able to take these steps are usually able to build at least some visibility into the cost of their operations, but these homegrown solutions require effort and expertise from their teams to design, build, and maintain, often at the expense of other important tasks. Today, we're releasing some important improvements to Dagster's data storage and visualization capabilities that will help shine light on the performance of your data pipelines, and will hopefully help you figure out where to invest your time to optimize for things like cost and performance. Data in Dagster Insights makes it easier to capture, explore, and visualize metadata about your data pipelines within the Dagster UI. I'm going to quickly explain what those improvements are as part of the Dagster Insights feature set, and then I'm going to hand it over to my teammate Ben to take you on a tour inside the product. The first feature that I want to quickly describe is the platform level metadata visualizations. Sometimes you're not sure where you need to focus your attention between your data pipelines, and maybe it's not obvious which assets or jobs are the most compute intensive, or which things are being run the most regularly. Dagster can now help you visualize and filter aggregated data about your data artifacts to give you a bird's eye view about the performance of your pipelines, starting with basic KPIs generated by Dagster, such as compute duration, failures, retries, materializations, and more helping you answer such questions such as, where are my resources being used? What are my most compute intensive assets? And what pipelines are wasting the most time on retries? Now, while a bird's eye view is useful for finding areas for investigation, sometimes you need to dive a bit deeper into the pipeline or asset level for troubleshooting. Daxter Insights also lets you go that level deeper to drill down into key metrics over time for specific data objects and answer questions such as, when did my compute duration start increasing so quickly? Are my data quality checks flaky? How many Snowflake credits are being spent keeping this data artifact up to date? While visualization of basic metrics can be helpful, we know that Dagster's metadata by itself isn't enough to get at the operational insight that teams want. So we've added some additional capabilities for capturing and storing metadata that helpfully make it easier to build the attributional data sets necessary to get a handle on your data warehouse costs. Historically, Dagster's metadata capabilities were limited to the data that could be captured and written into the event history log at runtime. With the addition of a new API and data processing backend, important operational information about the characteristics of a data process can be written anytime and displayed at the platform, pipeline, or asset level within Dagster. We've also added capabilities to the Dagster Cloud package that make it possible to retrieve this information from pipelines at runtime by changing just a few lines of code. Out of the box, we're providing tooling for easily capturing a defined set of metadata coming from DBT and Snowflake, but we'll soon be opening this up for capturing both predefined and arbitrary metadata from any downstream system. Capturing all the metadata you need for operational visibility is a challenge because some kinds of data just aren't available until after the computation is over. 
for example, credits in Snowflake. So we've built an easily configurable data pipeline for retrieving data from those data sources and writing it back to Dagster's metric store. Again, for now this is limited to Snowflake, but it will be soon po be possible to use it for writing arbitrary data into the store. And with that, I'm going to pass it over to my teammate, Ben. Let's say I'm a data platform engineer supporting a team of other stakeholders building on DBT, Snowflake, and other tools. Recently, we've noticed our Snowflake bills have been much higher than we expected. So we've decided to set up Dagster Insights integration with Snowflake to get better visibility into where we're spending our money. Let's start by clicking on the new Insights tab on Dagster Cloud to delve into what's happening. There are a couple different ways that we could try to diagnose what's going on here. Dagster provides a number of metrics out of the box, which can be helpful both in monitoring our data platform's overall state and in tracking down specific problems like cost overruns. We can sort through our jobs, asset groups, and individual assets, looking at metrics like compute duration, Dagster credit usage, failures, retry count, and even the new asset checks. This data makes it possible to quickly discover which of our operations are failing, running longer than normal, or costing more than expected. We can also access metrics from external tools, which we've pulled into Dagster. Since in this case, we're dealing with a high Snowflake bill, let's take a look at the Snowflake credits view. From here, it doesn't seem like anything is particularly out of the ordinary. Right now, we're looking at a seven day time window, so let's zoom out to 30 days. And from here, we can see one asset's definitely jumping out. Its Snowflake credit consumption has increased pretty substantially about two weeks ago. If we jump over to the Compute Duration tab and filter down to that particular asset, we can see that total compute duration has also increased at around that two-week window. If we instead look at average compute duration, we can see that the average compute time for this asset hasn't substantially increased. So it seems like it's being run more often instead of taking longer. To delve deeper, we can go to the Asset Catalog and look at the new Insights tab for a particular asset. This gives us the ability to view cross-cutting metrics at once, allowing us to diagnose potential problems with our assets or jobs. Here we can see that about two weeks ago, not only did our compute duration increase, but we also had a pretty substantial increase in asset materializations. We don't see any new step failures or step retries happening, and there are a couple asset check warnings, but they don't seem to correlate with the time window of this change. This points to what could be a scheduling problem. If we scroll up, we can see that someone set this asset to materialize every two minutes. It seems like this wasn't intentional and someone might have fat fingered a cron string. Hopefully this example gives you a bit of a glimpse into how Dagster Cloud Insights can help you keep a handle on everything that's happening in your data platform. We've built these features because we believe Dagster is the natural starting point for improving operational visibility, and here's why. Daxter is at the intersection of all of your recurring data processes. Daxter sees the data flowing through multiple tools from ingestion to processing, transformation, and visualization. By making it the gathering point for your operational metadata, you can avoid creating new data silos. Daxter also already provides the essential building blocks for attribution with the tooling you need to create, write, and retrieve metadata. Gathering operational metadata in Daxter also helps preserve operational context because Daxter has first-class knowledge of the objects creating the metadata. It will know that Snowflake cost is associated with a particular asset, knows the definition of that asset, when it was materialized, who owns it, etc. Keeping all this data in one place speeds up the feedback and optimization process. Now let's take a moment to talk about the state of the feature, the release plan, and some upcoming improvements. Insights is an experimental feature and limited release, which means it's being enabled for customers on request. This feature is only available to cloud customers. Currently, it has out-of-the-box tooling for DBT and Snowflake pipelines materializing software-defined assets. While it comes out with some of these limitations, this is not our stopping point. Some near-term opportunities for improvement that we plan to release over the coming weeks include opening up the metric store to receive arbitrary metadata from any downstream system, expanding tooling to include the ops and jobs framework, adding additional utilities for other data warehouses like BigQuery and Athena, and enabling budget-based alerts. All cloud users will have access to visualizations for all Dagster generated metrics, but third party and custom metadata capabilities will only be available to customers on the enterprise plan. To join the experimental release, join our Slack channel, Dagster Insights, and message us to get it enabled. Thanks again to our community of design partners who are active participants in our product process, and thank you to the Dagster community for your support.